Hi, Sheila. Bear with me while I explain to you um, Lab 2 from Chapter 2, Number 5. It states, for the, for the months of February through December, the starting balance is equal to the previous month's ending balance. Obtain the starting balance for February by setting the starting balance of February to the ending balance of January. Use the cell reference rather than typing in the data. Copy the formula. So we obviously, we don't have yet the net or the ending balance. So what we need to do is we are going to go into B5, February, and every equation starts with an equal. So I'm going to say equals and click on F4 even though there's no data and press enter. Now when we figure these out, that'll come in. And it says to copy the cell reference down. So I'm going to go through December. Now as I look on the cells, when I click on it, it shows, you know, whatever cell I'm in. Number six then tells you to obtain the net amounts in column E by subtracting the expenses in column D from the incomes in column C. Enter the formula in E4 and copy it to the range E5 through E15. Obtain the ending balance amounts in the column F by adding the starting balance in column B to the net in column E. So for instance, now I'm in the net and I need to, to figure this out, of course, everything begins with the equals. And I need to subtract the income from the expense. I'm going to press enter, and that's what I get. And of course, I can fill this down to get the net for all of my months. To get the balance now, again, equals, I'm going to take the starting balance, and I'm going to add it to the net. Press enter, and fill it down, and notice how it fills in over here because as they were saying every month starts with the ending balance of the previous month hope that helps clears up the lab for you have a good day